It's never too late to start comparing the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the S23 Ultra, especially considering rumors suggesting that Samsung's latest flagship phone will be released earlier than usual. The Galaxy S24 is rumored to launch in January 2024, which means we won't have way to experience the premium feature of the Ultra model in the lineup. Earlier rumors suggest that S24 Ultra camera enhancement and a probably upgrade in terms of the system on chip. Additionally, there are speculation that it might take inspiration from iPhone 15 Pro model and introduce some material for its construction. We are also anticipating a display with faster refresh rate compared to previous variant. To outshine its predecessor, the S23 Ultra, which has been regarded as one of the phone of the year, Samsung will need to implement some changes. However, with the release of the iPhone 15 Pro Max surpassing it, Samsung now has more motivation to make significant improvement to their Ultra phone. In this battle between S24 Ultra and S23 Ultra, we will explore what current rumors suggest about the phone, how it may differ from this year model. Here what we currently know based on leaks, CAD design and mockups, it seems that the upcoming S24 Ultra won't have a change compared to the S23 Ultra. Although there has been talks about slightly less around the design, there were rumors suggesting bezels around the display, but subsequently leaks indicate that the Ultra model appeared remain unchanged. However, one significant difference could be the material used by Samsung, and speculation suggests that the Galaxy S24 Ultra might utilize titanium material to what Apple did with their iPhone 15 Pro lineup. This switch to titanium could result in a phone compared to its predecessor which would be an improvement for the S24 Ultra. Additionally, there are rumors indicating that Samsung might not limit this change to the Ultra model. It could also extend to Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus. While maintaining a 6.8 inch in display like its predecessor, the S24 Ultra panel may undergo modification given Google and Apple adopted of display in some of their phones. Samsung might feel compelled to enhance brightness for its premium phone well, one rumor suggests that the peak brightness of S24 Ultra panel could increase from 1750 nits to 2600 nits that would exceed the brightness level of the Pixel 8 Pro which is rated at 2400 nits. It's quite impressive that S23 Ultra introduced a 200 megapixel camera which still holds its position in our list of camera phones. Samsung has a task ahead if they want the S24 Ultra to make a significant impact. However, rumors suggest that Samsung might focus on making the phone big in terms of performance. While we may not see the increase in megapixel beyond the 200 megapixel offered by Ultra, there are talks about a 1-inch sensor being incorporated in the cameras to capture more light in challenging shooting condition. The primary change in the S24 Ultra camera hardware is expected to be related to the telephoto lens setup. Earlier design of the phone showcased dual telephoto lens similar to those found on the S23 Ultra. However, there is speculation that one of these cameras could boost a megapixel count of 50 megapixel. In contrast, the S23 Ultra utilized two 10 megapixel lens for zoom capability, with one providing a 3x zoom and another supporting up to 10x zoom. If rumor holds true, this rumored 50 megapixel lens would offer a 5x zoom capability while maintaining a lens on the S24 Ultra for continuous supportive up to 3x zoom functionality. According to source, there are claims that Galaxy S24 Ultra will replace the 10x zoom camera with a resolution of 5x camera. However, it seems that all other cameras will remain unchanged. Speaking of zooming, Samsung has already shows off a zoom any place feature in which AI assistant assist a 200 megapixel camera in capturing sharp zoom shot. In addition, Samsung has announced a switch to parallel image processing in order to reduce latency and data loss when capturing images. Neither compatibility has been confirmed for the Samsung S24 Ultra, but it seems likely they are slated for Samsung Premium phone. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 was arguably the S23 Ultra best features, not only delivering better performance, particularly with the graphic rendering, but also helping manage power more efficiently. While S24 rumor hint that Samsung may go back to using a mix of Qualcomm and Exynos chipset for some models, it's widely assumed that the Ultra model will be only featuring the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Qualcomm has revealed the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is already slated to appear in phones like Xiaomi 14, in addition to the improved machine learning capability and better image processing. The 8 Gen 3 promised a 30% boost in CPU performance and a 25% increase in graphic rendering. Qualcomm also says that CPU and GPU should be improved. 
Hoklam also says that CPU and GPU should have improved power efficiency and leaked Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 benchmark scores that the all new silicon posting better Geekbench score than the 8 Gen 2. However, the A17 Pro inside Apple A15 Pro Max lineup should contain to overcome a snap Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 powered S24 Ultra if these leaked numbers are indicate of performance. The S24 Ultra could turn to more than just processing power to distinguish itself from both past models and other phones. A report claims that Samsung is looking to integrate AI directly into its software so that key features like the phone and messages offer some sort of power capability. That's the good news. The bad news is subsequently report claims that Samsung may charge a subscription fee for some AI features on the Galaxy S24 phone. We are not sure how much stock to put into that claim. Though the S23 Ultra featured 256GB of storage in its base model, a trend which we expect to continue with the S24 Ultra. The S23 Ultra remains as a top list of phones with battery life. The upcoming S24 Ultra will have an act to follow despite the promise of more power management gains with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 Silicon. One significant rumor suggests that Samsung is considering using a stacked battery system for the S24 Ultra which would provide a denser power pack without increasing the size compared to S23 Ultra 5000mAh battery cell. This change would require a redesigned cooling system which might also be a part of the plan for the S24 Ultra. Initially, there were rumors that the stacked battery approach would enable Samsung to increase the wire charging speed from 45W in the S23 Ultra to 65W in the S24 variant. However, recent reports suggest that charging speed will remain unchanged for the Galaxy S24 phone. While there have been a lot of S24 Ultra rumors emerging in recent weeks, almost none of them has touched on upcoming phone's price. That's to be expected as pricing leaks really don't come into view until right before a phone launch. The S23 Ultra starts around $1200, a steep price that remained unchanged for the cost of the phone predecessor. We don't know if Samsung plans to hold the line on pricing for this year model, but with Apple raising the price of the iPhone 15 Pro so that it now matches Samsung charge for the Ultra phone. We think Samsung would want to avoid a price hike of its own if possible, but as per the recent rumors, it might be the same as the current gen devices. So guys, overall, I think that this is a pretty much good device. Are you willing to buy the upcoming S24 Ultra? Then let us know in the comment section below. What do you think about that? Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.